this video I want to derive the so-called Euler's reflection formula that is a very important formula in mathematics in particular in the study of uh, the Riemann zeta function and um, this formula has to do with uh, the gamma function so even if it has to do with the gamma function it is still quite important to understand some properties of this Riemann zeta function and I want to show you how those properties arise but that will come in a later video. In this video, we are going to start from gamma of 1 minus z. So we can write the gamma function with the argument being 1 minus z. And we are going to integrate from 0 to infinity. So this is the usual definition for the gamma function. So we have e to the minus u. u is the integration variable. And then here we have u to the minus z du. Now we can change the variable from u to vt, where the integration variable will be v. So we can write this as integral from 0 to infinity, e to the minus vt, and then we have vt raised to the power minus z, and then we have t dv. Now let's multiply gamma of z with the gamma of 1 minus z. So we can write this as a double integral from 0 to infinity, integral from 0 to infinity. And then the integration variable for the other integral will be t. So you can see that t also appears here. So we can uh, rewrite the integral in the following way, e to the minus t, t to the z minus 1. And this comes from uh, this uh, gamma function, the gamma of z, so this will be integrated over over t. But then we also have this uh, integrand, so we have e to the minus b t times v to the minus z, so let's write it like this, v to the minus z, then we have t to the 1 minus z, e to the 1 minus z or minus z plus 1, like this, dt dv. You can see that this will simplify with this and therefore we are left with this. So we have integral from 0 to infinity, integral from 0 to infinity, e to the minus 1 plus v times t, v to the minus z dt dv. Now we can integrate over t, so we have we are left with only the integral over v. v to the minus z can be factored out, and the integral is e to the minus 1 plus v t divided by minus 1 plus v. And we have to evaluate it between t equal to 0 and t equal to infinity, or actually, I mean, this is, you have to think that this is a limit, so t goes to infinity here dv, and this is equal to, now, this, uh, this exponential will go to 0 as uh, t goes to infinity because uh, 1 plus v is uh, positive, because v is a variable that goes from 0 to infinity. So definitely 1 plus v will be positive. Therefore, we can rewrite this as integral from 0 to infinity v to the minus z divided by 1 plus v dv and this is equal to now remember the result that we derived in the previous video this is pi divided by sine pi 1 minus z like this and now for symmetry reasons since this is equal to this, you can see that if you change z to 1 minus z, the part on the left of the equality is symmetric. Therefore, this can also be written as pi divided by sine of pi z, like this. And in this specific example, z would be a number that belongs to a real number that belongs in the interval 0, 1 with 0 and 1 excluded from the interval. 
This has to do with uh, this result here. And you can check the previous video. But let me tell you that this formula can be analytically continued such that Z belongs to the complex numbers minus the integers. So the formula that we have derived is gamma of Z, gamma of uh, 1 minus Z equal to pi divided by the sine of pi Z and this is called Euler's reflection formula.